Hey there, cool kids. I'm Terena Scannell, and we're here with actor, writer, and musician Dave Patton of the new film Delivery Man. Thank you for joining us, Dave, on Real Reactions. Thank you for having me. So, you've been referred to as a renaissance man mm. with all your many talents. What's your favorite one to do? Uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite one. Like, if I had to pick, I don't know if I could. Um, it kind of all started with music and then progressed into film, and then uh, writing kind of came a little bit later just as like an extra alternative outlet. And uh, I just, I love them all. I love being able to kind of jump from one to the other. So it's not, I don't know if I could really tell you. Yeah. So you originally started in music. Where mm -hmm. do you think your passion for music came from and how did you find your sound? Um, the sound came just, it just comes from experimenting and just, you figure out a lot of what sounds terrible first. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, <laughs> and then you kind of like hone into, uh, into your own. Um, but uh, where it all, where like it all started, I don't know. It just, it was like, my, my family's not musical at all, so it's like, kind of came out of nowhere, I guess, because the radio was on all the time. I just, I just like music, you know. So from a young age, you just always were very interested in music. I guess, yeah. yeah. I, it's not. I'm not like one of those people. That, you know, I'm not like, yeah. When I was three years old, I've been singing yeah. since I was three. <laughs> I was. I picked up guitar in like middle school, and I just, I really just loved it and wanted to get get good at it. So. I kind of figured it out. I don't know. It's just it was a hobby that I flipped into a career somehow. Yeah, so. that's nice. What instruments do you know how to play? Um, guitar. I started on drums, and uh, I'm self-taught on guitar, piano, uh, trumpet, and cello. That's a lot. Are you gonna learn how to play any new instruments? Yeah, uh, trombone's pretty similar to trumpet, so I'm working on that. And um, um, what else is cool? Uh, Xylophone. I yeah, 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 something. Bagpipes, yeah. you know, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, you know, if you ever want to write a song called Terena, I would totally be okay with that. Okay with that All yeah. Right, good. All right. So, <laughs> in the movie Delivery Man, mm -hmm. Vince Vaughn's character donates sperm, finds out that he is a father to over 500 children. Yeah. What did you originally think of the plot line when they first introduced it to you? I mean the log line. It's kind of crazy. It sounds. It sounds crazy. Um, yeah, the log line is nuts. But uh, once I read the script, it kind of it really changed my uh, you know perception of it. I guess just because it, it's like such a it's a comedy. Yeah, but it like has so much heart and like really just I don't know just pulls a lot on the heartstrings and just like really has a lot of family stuff that just you can really relate to, which is cool. So um, when. You know, there's 533 other kids in the movie. How did you make your character stand out among all those other kids? Well, Ken did a great job with the writing, with like separating the characters and really giving them their own voice, which was cool. And my character, I just kind of uh, just like gravitated towards just because he's like very much like an independent um, thinker type thing. You know, he's like he's a busker, so he just is out doing his own thing and when the opportunity comes to kind of take the stand and really lead these kids in like the courtroom and, and uh, just kind of take a stand for everything. I think, I think he was looking for something and like finally found it. And you know, that's a common uh, theme in my life, so. So your character, Adam, has similar interests as you. He's a musician. Mm -hmm. Did you kind of weave a little bit of who you were into the character as well as create his own person? Yeah, yeah. I definitely drew a lot on my own personal experiences. Um, you know, I've done plenty of gigs where there's absolutely no one listening to me and, you know, I'm just invisible and stuff like that. So I can kind of relate to that that feeling of just emptiness and just not being appreciated. It's pretty pretty hollow and kind of sucks a lot. But, uh, like, you know, the first scene in the movie that I have with Vince is I'm just playing in Central Park and he comes up and, like, gives me some attention. And just that, that one person makes such a huge difference that people, it's like, it's like, you know, when you just do one nice thing to some random person, like how it can just yeah. change their day entirely. Um, that's such a huge thing. So I just, you know, can really kind of draw on that. And just imagining growing up like fatherless without, um, you know, I love my dad. He's awesome. He's a big in inspiration to me and everything. And um, just that's what's cool about acting is just kind of like putting yourself in someone else's life you get to like build up a lot of empathy for other yeah, people. Yeah, you understand where he's coming from and like what he's yeah. going through. Yeah. Um, what was it like working on set with Vince Vaughn? Did you guys goof off? Did he give you pointers? What was the atmosphere like? Yeah, I mean Vince is awesome. Yeah. He's, he's uh, 
on camera, off camera, he's he's kind of the same guy. He's always he's always joking around and stuff. He's a really good dude. Um, you know, we went out for beers a bunch of nights and everything. Yeah, so he's he's, <laughs> he's a good guy. Um, but on you know on this project, it's it's not really his typical type movie where it's like it's not the Wedding Crashers kind of slapstick, mm -hmm. fast talking Vince. It's he really carries a lot on his on his back in this in this film, and he really put in a lot of work to make that happen, and it really paid off. You know, it's was, it was really cool and inspiring to see. Uh, you know, just before every take, him kind of, you know, just going into the zone. You could see you just kind of go into a corner or whatever and just, like, mm -hmm. really get into that space, um, which is cool to see. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm proud of him. I think he did an awesome job. Yeah. So after filming this movie, what did you take away um, with what the importance of family is all about? Family's huge, you know. Um, I feel uh, really lucky to have um, as awesome of a family as I do. I know a lot of other people have uh, much harder... Um, you know, childhoods and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, like, you know, just getting into this character, Adam, and just imagining what that was like is is really uh, humbling and, like, kind of sobering in a lot of ways. And, yeah, family, I don't know, family is everything, so. What was your favorite scene to shoot? My favorite scene? Uh, probably the campfire scene when we were all at camp and uh, I'm kind of jamming out on the guitar and everybody's yeah. singing along. That was a lot of fun. It was like one of the first days on set and there was just hundreds of kids, you know, all of us just getting to know each other and everything. And uh, yeah, just rocking out. It was a lot of fun. So after what happened to Vince's character, would you ever think about donating your sperm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, not going to take that chance. Nah, nah. So I um, read that you just had a book published called mm -hmm. Run of the Mill. Do yes. you want to, um, you know, explain what the book is about? Yeah, sure. Uh, the book is about this 26-year-old millionaire, world-famous touring musician um, who one night after one of his shows, he kind of gets caught up with an old friend who has essentially been kind of plotting against him for the past, like, 10, 15 years, um, and he blackmails this main character into... Uh, kind of essentially like coming to terms with a lot of his demons, um, if you will, and just, you know, because there was a lot of just dramatic stuff that happened where this kid, Tyler, made it and kind of left a lot of people behind. Um, and so it's kind of that whole un unveiling of that entire story. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a project I've been working on for a bunch of years, and uh, like I said, it's just kind of an outlet. The character is very, like, cynical and just kind of angry at the world, um, so it's a lot of like outlets of just in my low moments of just like really like, I hate this stuff that I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh man, because sometimes you just wonder, it's like, why am I doing this? Because it can get so, you know, it's just a roller coaster. The, the highs are, are great, but the lows really suck. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it's about. So since the character is a young, vivacious musician playboy, did, is it, did you pull a lot from yourself, or did you just kind of come up with this <laughs> idea on your own? Well, yeah, I'm not a millionaire. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not touring the world. I'm not really a playboy. So it's, it was a lot of uh, fun you know, living vicariously through this character. Yes, yeah, so you just kind of made him up and just got to live through whatever he was going through. Yeah, yeah. Um, is writing something that you've always enjoyed doing, or did you want to just challenge yourself and kind of create this project to see where it could go? Yeah, it was a little bit of both. Um, I'm a big, like, Hemingway fan. I kind of mm -hmm. like that whole idea of being in your 20s and living in Paris and just, like, drinking wine and just having, you know, living life and writing while you're doing it. Um, and so it was something that I just... In my life, if I want to get something done, like, I... I luck hasn't exactly fallen on my side so it's a lot of like if it's going to get done I got to do it you just got to do it and so I just started and it was it was awesome it was a great outlet for me and everything and uh yeah just slowly built it up and in the end you know had a finished product and then met with my the publisher and just hit it off and uh the opportunity came and you, you know I struck so nice. it's cool but you never know you just gotta you just gotta be willing to take the risks would you ever want to try to make a movie out of your novel? Hell yeah. Would make yeah. A movie out of that. yeah. Would you would you be your character? Would you want to just cast a whole bunch of different people uh, for I'd, it? I'd be that character. You'd be him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be awesome. Are you going to work on another novel now that this one's been published? Yeah, definitely. Have you started or are you just you're going to when it comes to you? Um, yeah, I've got like two two other ones that uh, I've been chipping away at. Um, and then just a bunch of other new ideas. So it's just about kind of finding the time to really sit down and start plotting it out. But yeah, I'd like to do 
get it get it cracking this year so all right well now that we've gone through many of your amazing talents <laughs> is there anything new that you want to dive into and try out uh it's not really like no it's just doing everything bigger is really what it is i just want to make movies with bigger budgets and you know do bigger tours and you know sell more albums and you know all that stuff just do it just do it i don't know i just as long as i can do it i'm fine i'm not like kind of like a money hungry type person i just i just love being afforded the opportunity to do this stuff so that's really all it is well i don't doubt that you will move on to bigger and better things i'm hoping i'm hoping thank you so much for coming and doing this interview with us no problem thank you for having me What's up, I'm Dave Patton, and you're watching The Emerson Channel.